Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to go over my July goals that I set for myself um, and kind of why I picked those goals. So I first want to preface this video with saying that you can expect a few changes from me in my style of editing um, for the next few videos. I'm going to start like playing around a little bit more with editing. Right now I have no like routine I guess you would say. Um, I basically just film whatever, um, export it into my computer from my iPhone and then put it into iMovie, line it up and that's it usually. Um, I will cut a few things if I need to, but I usually don't spend a lot of time editing. Um, so just expect things to be a little bit different, not necessarily like the video itself, but I'm going to play around with my like intro part to my video. Um, and all of those things. So I just wanted to go, kind of give you guys a heads up of that. But let's go ahead and get into the video talking about goals. Okay, so I have my planner with me. Um, if you guys didn't watch my July setup, I set up this dashboard notes page at the beginning of the month with um, a lot of things that I did put goals up here. So I basically outlined my four main goals for the month of July. Um, so that's what we're going to go over. I do have other goals or like habits that I want to start and I do have habit tracker at the bottom to kind of help me with those but for now these are like my four I'm trying to get comfortable these are like my four main goals so obviously this video will just be like a sit down chit chat type of video um but anyways my first goal is one that you guys already know and that is to post to Instagram I was shooting for every day but at least every other day um if not every day so I have already faltered on that a little bit. I don't think I posted yesterday. I may have. I can't remember. I'll have to go look. I may have, I might be on track still for every day, but um, regardless, I wanted to post at least every other day just because I feel like most YouTubers are their most active on Instagram or at least the ones that I watch in this kind of community that we're in with planning. So I wanted to make sure that I I'm kind of following not following suit I don't want to say that because I'm not like a follow the crowd type of person here but I wanted to make sure that I am giving you guys what you expect from other youtubers if that makes any sense at all so I'm trying really really hard to be active on there and now that may not be a post every single day like a legit like scroll through type post on your feed um it may be like in my Instagram stories that's where I'm really going to start trying to make the most out of Instagram I guess um, I, I don't really have a problem with posting. My thing is like taking the stories. I never know because to me, my life isn't that interesting, I guess. So I never know what would be interesting for you guys to see. Like, do y'all want to see me just chit chatting by the pool outside or that kind of thing? So I just don't, I don't know exactly what y'all want to see. Um, and so I think that's why I have hesitations when it comes to posting on Instagram. But that is a goal of mine. For this month to at least make a post of some kind whether that be a like feed post or a story um but yeah so that's my first goal my next goal is a little bit different um it's a financial goal and not like a, a social media type goal so basically with my four goals i did two financial goals one um like life goal i guess something outside of anything else um and then i did one like social media type goal so my first financial goal for the month is to pay off one of our like tiny debts. Um, right now we don't, and I don't necessarily count them as a debt, but we owe people money, which d technically is the definition of it. Um, it's for like our venue for the wedding, which is paid off at this point, but we also owe like our DJ, that kind of stuff, just small amounts of money here and there that we need to just tie up loose ends and get paid and be done so that when the wedding comes, we don't have to worry about, you know, doing anything else. I also talk with my hands a lot. I'm trying to hide it down here so y'all don't see me doing it. Um, but if they kind of fly up all of a sudden, that's just what's happening. I'm, I'm big into talking with my hands. But so yeah, that's one of our like mine and Jeremiah's goals is to pay off one of our debts. We are trying to pay off as much of our debt as possible. And I'll go into this in a different video um, this Thursday where I talk about like our specific financial goals and where we want to be in life. Um, but one of our big things right now is getting rid of all these small little debts, like I guess snowballing our debt basically so that 
we're kind of set to where we want to be, which like I said, I'll go over later. But that's our first financial goal. Our second financial goal is to start our emergency fund. Um, I, in my planner at first, called it a cash savings um, because I like having cash. Like I, I like the tangibility of cash and putting it in an envelope and putting it in our fireproof safe and that being it. Um, but after discussing it with Jeremiah, he's not completely comfortable with cash. He would rather us have it in a savings account in our bank. Um, and then just both of us know, you know, we can't touch it. Like that's our emergency fund. So we're not going to do cash anymore. I understand where he was coming from after he explained himself. Like if someone was to break in and take the safe, yes, it's safe from like water damage or fire. But if someone was to break in, they could take the whole safe with them. Um, and there goes all of our cash. So we're not going to do cash anymore. Unfortunately, I still like having cash. Um, and I hope that later on down the road, once we start budgeting truly like for real budgeting together, which I will cover in that video. Um, I hope that we can start like cash envelopes, that kind of system, because I just love having cash. I don't like spending my debit card. I like just having the cash and being able to hand it over to somebody and having that like tangible, valuable money in my hand. Um, that's just my personal thing then. So we will start, or we actually have already started our emergency fund and I will go over that still. I keep saying that, but I'll go over all of our financial stuff in the next video, um, with more of like what we're trying to save up to like what our goal amount is for our emergency fund at this point, that kind of stuff. So we will, we'll kind of touch bases with that later. But my last goal that I was going to share with you guys today is the worst one. I, I do this to myself every single month. I set like, you know, different goals for myself, depending on the different realms of my life at that time. And I am laughing because this one sucks so bad, guys. It's to clean out one room. Um, and I have designated that room for this month to be my closet. So I am a not a hoarder of t-shirts, but a hoarder of t-shirts. And by t-shirts, I don't mean like t-shirts like this. I mean like, I don't know, we call them t-shirts, but a lot of people call like shirts like this, maybe not with a little frilly part, like just a plain short sleeve shirt, a t-shirt. I consider a t-shirt to be like a 100% cotton, like usually it has like a store logo or something like that on it. Um, I don't know if that sounds funny or not, but I've heard a lot of people say like, oh, you're wearing a cute t-shirt. And I'm like, this, this to me is not a t-shirt, but I am a hoarder of t-shirts. I have t-shirts from different cities that have like just the city logos, different stores, different, just all kinds of t-shirts, t-shirts I've made. I have a ton with my monogram right here. Um, so that's like a huge, huge goal for me is to clean out all those things. My purpose behind that one is because I really want to be able to have an easy move when we get married and I move out of my parents house here and into the house with Jeremiah. I want to make that process as smooth as I possibly can. Um, and in order to do that, I need to kind of start now de-stashing, I guess, and getting rid of things. But I am like highly, highly unmotivated to do that. Um, now with my room and stuff, I did my bedroom kind of deal in June and that one was easy. Like I took a box in there with me, went through all my drawers and just tossed stuff into a box that I didn't need anymore or stuff that I could just toss, whatever. Um, but I, I don't like getting rid of clothes. Um, there are, I have a small stack going in the corner right now of some things that I know I'm not going to wear. I purchased last summer and never wore them last summer, have no interest in wearing them this summer. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of them. But I just, I am not happy about that one. So that's a goal that you can expect to see from me for the next couple months, or at least for this month in August. Probably in August, I will de-stash this room, which will be insane too. Like all of these bins that you see behind me, everything for my office supply type stuff or my cricket stuff or whatever the case may be, I'm going to de-stash in here as well. Um, that may end up becoming a July goal though. That's why I'm touching bases with it right now because, you know, I don't know how long it'll take before we get the house done. So. With that being said, though, those are my goals for July. Um, so far, so good. We've already started, like I said, we've started paying off debt. We've started our emergency fund. And I have been posting to Instagram at least every other day, if not every day, um, 
so yeah we're doing good so far this month I'm, I'm really excited for the month it's still early in the month today is July 4th that I'm filming this y'all won't see it until the 7th though I believe next Tuesday whatever that is um but yeah so we are doing good <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know in the comments what you guys feel about these kind of like sit down talk type of videos um, I know that like my actual planner videos, when you see like my planner spread become whatever, like my weekly spreads, monthly spreads, I know those do really well for me, but I want to have this like conversation dialogue type videos as well. Even though, you know, you're not talking back to me right now. I want to talk with you guys in the comments. Like I just want to have that connection with you guys. Um, so let me know what you think about sit down type videos. If it's something you'd like, should I keep them very spread out and rare or, you know, whatever you think. Also, let me know what you think about vlogs. Um, I vlogged back in the past when I had my Instagram the first time or my Instagram, my YouTube the first time back like last fall. Um, but I haven't done one since I started it back up and they weren't super popular then but I was also in school then so I didn't know if y'all want to see like a day in the life of a summer college student who's working um just something like that let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys in the next one all right bye guys